different. Um, I don't really want to go over the differences of them. Almost everybody just attaches. Okay? The overlay just allows you to get a different picture and you can move it around in different places. So we just want this to be an attachment. Okay? Then all we're going to do here is say OK to this. Okay? Now you got to click a spot out in your screen. So I'm going to just get somewhere away from my floor plan and just click a spot. And you should see this. Okay. Did, you, did everybody get that to work? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Folks, you're done. That, that's it. Woo. You, you, that's kind of the beauty of this stuff. Is I can reuse it now. AutoCAD's not storing this thing. Does everybody have to look like it's kind of grayed out? Yeah. yeah. It's hard to read. Yeah. Okay. There is a thing in options that sets the transparency of that. So you can see it better. This will not affect how it prints. They actually just change it so that you can tell when I'm looking at a drawing, oh, this is an X-Ref, this is my normal stuff. Okay. Because a lot of times we X-Ref things into geometry also, instead of a standalone. That, let me show you where to change this. Um, type OP for options. Go to the display tab. Down in the bottom right, where you see fade control, X-Ref display, it's set to 50%. Um, I think you want it on zero, or close to zero. If you want to see it like normal, if you don't, um, you want us to have it different, just say that. I don't think there is a zero. Yeah, there is. Yeah, if you it's type in the it, middle. click into the Thing instead of using slide bar and type zero. Now, did it pop out and show you like normal? Yeah. All right, one other thing. Uh, I'll wait, I'll wait just a second. see this over here now in your XRF manager. Okay. So you can now detach this, you can actually insert it into the drawing where it's no longer an XRF, it's something that you're going to have part of the drawing. There's a lot of different options, but you'll see it here. Now the big thing here, folks, is see this path over here? If that changes, this drawing won't read this XRF. So if you're going to, that's one problem with XRFing is you take it and then I take it home. Mm -hmm. And my path changes because my home computer is different. Mm -hmm. You have to reassign that path so that it will see it. Other than that, you're going to get a little thing on your screen saying image not available. And it just says, hey, I can't see